Tom Wise. Huh? Oh, Hawk. Haven't seen you since we did that job together for Athenra. Been a while. Heard you're going on some expedition into the Deep Roads. And right into Darkspawn territory. Sure that's wise? We can't all make a living in the Undercity. Just watch your back. That's all I'm saying. Say, you still in the market for some poisons? A Athenril's scarce these days. And the Coterie have their own mixers. You find any rare reagents and want me to whip you up something, just let me know. In fact, since you're an old friend, here's a recipe. My speciality. Everyone needs an edge sometimes, right? Great ancestors, no. You know what Orzammar is? It's cramped tunnels filled with thug shit and body odor. And every person there thinks he's better than you because his great-great-great-grandfather made a water clock or something. But they're your people. Don't you even wonder what it would be like? I have a good imagination. Why would I waste it on that? So, someone dropped off a message for you. It's on the desk. Not that he didn't do his best to try and read it first. What? I, I thought there might be something dangerous in there. <sighs> Camlon. Go again. Here we go. Go down. I'll cut you off. Are we talk about you? I'll cut you soon. I don't make my guards fight gangs in dark corners, but if you'd like to help... I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. 
You watch for Templars. When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be... made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. This is the apostate. Another mage as you took him! I'll deal with it! What did you do? It's like... You brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. What did you do? Not the Fade part. The angry, glowing bit. It's like a gateway to the Fade inside you. Glowing like a beacon. I have some... unique circumstances, yes. But Carl, what happened? How did they get you? The Templars here are far more vigilant than in Ferelden. They found a letter I was writing you. You cannot imagine it, Anders. All the color, all the music in the world, gone. I would gladly give up my magic. But this... I'll never be whole again. This is what Mother was protecting me from. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Carl, no. Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. The tranquil I've met seem content with their lot. Maybe it's not that bad. You have no idea. Your emotions... Your dreams, everything, stripped away on someone's whim. If I were made tranquil, I would wish for a friend compassionate enough to kill me. Carl, I'm sorry. Now, it's fading. Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. <laughs> We should leave before more Templars come. So, let me guess. This is the part where you tell me you're an abomination? You're wrong, but not far wrong. I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthine, I met a spirit of justice, 
I was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends, and he recognized the injustice that mages and Thedas face every day. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. What does this have to do with your eyes glowing? To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the Circle. But... I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he... changed. So, you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. That really didn't look like a happy, benevolent spirit from where I was standing. Since when is justice happy? Justice is righteous. Justice is hard. You tried to help a friend. Surely no harm can come of that? I wish I still had your innocence. There was too much hatred in me. Justice thought he would overcome that. But my anger, when I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no longer my friend, Justice. He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. Wow. Your problems make mine seem small. Here. These are all the documents I have for this area. I can understand if you would rather me not join you personally. I cannot control my need for vengeance. I would ask no one to take on the danger of traveling with me. I will be here in my clinic if you need me.
see why Gamlin lied. Mother described it, but this is the first time I've seen it. Wouldn't it feel like something to live in a gun with this above the door?
done. Anything we want to know about it. This is it. Grandfather's will. Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. I still want to look around. All right, but hurry. So, are you in the circle? I don't know if I'd be brave enough to do that. Exactly. It was never anything I had to work for. Other people always took the risks to keep me free. Drinks of the hanged man, which... I'm not here to sell today, guardsmen. My shipment's late. Well, good luck to you then. Can't help me. This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. <laughs> Useless. Why are we still paying those sluggards? You should pay someone else. <laughs> like me. I like being paid. If you can find Ninette, I will gladly pay you. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. The guards disagree. They are more disagreeable than my wife. Maybe your friend is more sensible. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have... <clears throat> done something to her. Even if... Well... 
I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores. Until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lilies. Hmm? Her favorite. Ah! Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, Sarah. Hey, Franz. 